start. Hello students, I am once again with you sharing the tips on TOEFL. TOEFL is a test which generally there is a misconception it is difficult whereas it is not difficult. It is very easy only the tips has to be followed. The structure of the TOEFL is simple, it is very easy. There are four modules everybody knows and the four modules have the subdivisions of it. The skills that are required in TOEFL, today I am going to discuss TOEFL overview and it is going to be in general and in my next video I will be discussing about the writings particularly, writings and the familiar topics of speakings, how to handle them and how to find an answer in between them. Today my aim is, my point of view is I will be discussing skills that you require in TOEFL. Number one it is grammar, grammar needs to be little accurate, not little I think it should be accurate. Grammar is given an importance in TOEFL, you got to be very perfect in your sentence structure, in your writings. Second comes your vocabulary, the kind of the words that you are using in TOEFL, mainly the writing task 1 and even in the familiar topics, they have to be quite appropriate. Then comes your pronunciations, pronunciation I am not talking of a fake kind of a pronunciation that you pick it up in American accent or you try to speak to which does not suit you, it is not that. Be very normal, only the words should be correct, the pronunciation should be correct, it should be understandable enough, there should not be a reflection of your native language in your pronunciation. Spelling when you are doing the listenings, in your writings as well as in your listenings, it needs to be correct. Skimming, skimming is required for your readings and even it is required for your writings also. When there is a passage you got to skim, skim means fast, very fast overview, overview of what is given to you. Scanning means hunting for an idea or a thought or a word which you want to find an answer of. Then comes summarizing, summarizing means getting the integrated thought of what you want to present. It is not going to be elaborative, summarizing comprehensive things. Then this in my opinion is something which is very very important, note taking. When you are taking the notes, you have to be very fast, looking at the screen and writing it down, just a word, just a word. That is I am talking of writing integrated task. You have a passage, you have to write, the, you have to take the notes, you have to listen to a conversation, then correlate. Now taking a note means that you are taking a note in the form of a flow chart. Do not take the notes as they are, they will cause a problem. Just stop yourself, balance your mind and take the notes where there are dates, names and the certain kind of situation is being discussed. Nothing more than that. The complete paragraph is not to be written. It is going to be just a note taking. Then when you are listening, when you are listening to the conversation, then also the note taking needs to be in a flow chart. And when you will be taking it in a flow chart, your speakings will be very comfortable and even the writing will be very comfortable. And I hope uh, this overall view of TOEFL will give you an easy idea that how the TOEFL is to be taken. And in my next video, I will be sharing TOEFL as a module, one module I will be taking. And most probably I think I will be taking up the speaking modules because I have a lot many requests of speakings related to TOEFL. And I would like to share and congratulate the students, those who have scored very good in TOEFL. Recently one of my student, he scored 115. Scoring 115 is a very good score, it is really a good effort. And there are two students, those who have again got 100 plus. So the scores in TOEFL, what the way we pick it up here is quite different. And I will be taking one by one with you. Today was just an overview. Thank you so much. I hope you like this video. Take care. God bless you.